We now return to Weird Machines on Modern Marvels. The machine rose out of the need to simplify human tasks. But there's one built to do just the opposite. By converting a simple task into a highly complex one. A Rube Goldberg invention is something that's important because it's not important. It's a device that takes something that is really simple, really easy to uh, do in your everyday life and make it really complex. For example, here's a Goldberg machine built especially for us to power up a television. The rat trap knocks the wheel forward, sending the CO2 rocket into the pendulum, which travels down and closes the pyramid, forcing Stonehenge to rise, pushing the mallet to fall on the spatula, pulls the string, activating the gumball machine, kicking the tire that rolls to the cannon, shooting the shot button, which funnels down the catcher rig, depressing the hand, completing the task of turning on the TV. Every year, Engineering students across the country compete in Purdue University's Rube Goldberg contest. It's a celebration of gadgetry, with students concocting the ultimate Goldbergian machines. So the competition has a certain set of rules which everyone has to abide by. Some of it is the machine has to be built uh, six foot by six foot by six foot. No live animals can be used in the machine. No dead animals can be used in the machine. No fire and no explosions, and nothing is allowed to leave the machine. Other than that, as long as you don't injure or hurt anybody, have fun. The same task is assigned to each team, such as turning on a flashlight, or dispensing hand sanitizer, to be done in no fewer than 20 steps. Known as the Engineering Olympics of America, these Goldberg machines now incorporate over 200 separate steps. We work 2,000 hours on these machines, and right down to the minute before we run it, these things might still be finicky. Luck, the humidity, the given day where the sun is aligned, everything plays a major factor in how these things operate.